everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I'm coming back with another bread recipe. This is going to be another no yeast bread recipe. I realized once I put out my other video that maybe not everybody had the right ingredients or they wanted something different. You want different options, so I'm going to give that to you. I still have a shortage in our stores from what I hear from yeast. I am planning on uploading a yeast bread recipe though for those of you who may have yeast at home or have found it in stores and maybe have never made bread before. So I can help you out with that as well. So check for that in the coming days. But this one's going to be a beer bread recipe. The beer in the bread, which is what I have right here, that's going to replace the yeast. So what you're going to need is three cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of sugar, 12 ounces of beer, and half a cup of melted butter. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with measuring out my three cups of flour. <clears throat> and I didn't show how to measure out for bread in my last video, but I'm going to show you in this one. So if you were to take, here, let me put it in front of the camera more. All right, so if you were to take your cup measure and just dig it in there, you're gonna pack the, the flour into there and you don't really wanna pack it in. So I have a spoon here and I'm just gonna spoon it in and then once it gets full, then you level it off, okay? And that's gonna keep it not being too much flour. It's not gonna be as dry and whatever. So just spoon your flour right into your cup is kind of tricky to do with the camera, but that's okay. You just don't want, you want to make sure you're not packing the flour in, okay? So we have it, and then I'm going to level it off, and I'm going to use such a mess. Anyway, we're going to measure out three cups. Here, we're going to add in three teaspoons of baking powder. So this is going to be a recipe that you don't even need the baking soda because I know I had a couple of comments on my last bread recipe about if I don't have baking soda, what can I use? This would be a good recipe for you to try. Let's go ahead and add in the three tablespoons of baking soda. One, two, three. Add in one teaspoon of salt. Okay, it's future me popping in real quick to tell you guys, go ahead and add a quarter cup of sugar. Do not forget, I forgot. I pulled my bread back out, I mixed it back in, I put it back in. I only realized when I started cleaning up. So mine will still be okay, but don't forget to put in a quarter cup of sugar. Don't make my mistake. Okay. I forgot to mention, make sure your oven is preheated to 375. And I have a loaf pan, I'm just going to spray that some non-stick cooking spray. Go ahead and add that beer straight into this mixture. Now mix those all together. I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter right now. that in the glass my beer was in and I'll toss that in the microwave a little bit. I'm going to pour in about half of my melted butter and set the rest of it aside. We'll set that aside. Okay, go ahead and get that all mixed together. Don't know if you can see it's kind of forming a very, very sticky dough ball and that's how it's supposed to be looking. Once you feel like everything's incorporated into each other, go ahead and put it in your loaf pan, which I'm going to do right now. And it is going to be very sticky. I just don't want anybody to think they're doing it wrong. So here's that. I'm just going to plop her in and kind of spread it out. Okay. Let 
me wash my hands. All right, for the last step, you're gonna take that um, melted butter, the second portion of it, and you're just gonna pour it on top of the bread dough. And you're gonna bake this in an oven that's been preheated to 375. You're gonna bake it for one hour. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in. We'll see you in a bit. All right guys, the bread is done. I have it pulled out. I'm gonna leave it sit. I couldn't wait too long and I already took a little piece over here to try it. It is tasty. That's all I'm gonna say about it. It is tasty. It has a nice crunchy crust to it. Um, I would say these have a flavor almost of like a dinner roll type, um, maybe a buttered dinner roll. Uh, a little bit of saltiness to it. Uh, the sugar, it doesn't make it too sweet. This would not be one that you would want to make for sandwiches and stuff like that, but this would be delicious with some jam or just some straight up butter or even just plain something to have with your meal. But it gives you another option to get bread into your home. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys.